Hey, welcome to the next podcast of Andy Collier Talks Cricket Memorabilia. As you can see, we've got a change of scene this morning, um, from upstairs down to the, uh, where we first began these lovely podcasts um, all those years ago. I can't remember how many years ago it was now, before the COVID struck anyway. So we're back in that place again now, just for a week. Um, now, next week, not sure what's going to happen next week, whether I can do one next week or not, but um, whether I'll be here or not, I don't know. So if you need your kick, you might be uh, disappointed next week. So uh, there we are. So just pre-warning there. So just going to what's happened this week. Um, Denise Dean has a postcard here, a Centurion portfolio. It's quite a nice little postcard, that one. Um, it's number 618 of a thousand, so relatively limited edition, that one. Nice one there with the Don. There's a few of those on the uh, eBay this week. So Centurion's a portfolio there. Um, since WG Grace, the first to the milestone of, in 1895, just 22 batsmen, uh, more than that now, have followed him to 100 hundreds. So that's uh, celebrating the 100 hundreds. Another lovely thing that turned up this week was this lovely, thanks to Jonathan Farmer, this lovely it's a pencil signature. I don't know if you can see that or not, um, on the bit of a reflection, but uh, Vernon Royal, Lancashire in England, played one test match on Lord Harris's tour of Australia in 1878-79. Um, well, he's, he was a reverend, so he's quite a religious man. He done a nice diary um, on this tour, which I'll just read a little bit for you in a minute. Um, but he was in the he was the first wicket of Frederick Spothus, first Test hat trick. Um, he was the first um, who was second McKennan and uh, Emmett were the other two. So quite a feat of history there that um, Vernon Roy is involved in. So quite a nice card there, signature pencil signature. And this is the diary that he's got. This is a reproduction by John McKenzie down there in Yule. And he's got a lovely piece. And I'll just read this a little bit here. Uh, began our match with New, New South Wales. This is January the 24th, which was 1879. Uh, began our match with New South Wales, 11 aside. Spothus was unable to play as he had been thrown out of a cab the night before and cut his wrist. They won the toss, put us in. We got 248, Penn 56, Ullet 51. Harris 50 were the principal scorers. They got 16 for no wickets. Went to the Theatre Royal in the evening. Um, then another one here, on just a couple of days later, we hired two launches and steamed about the bay, or rather harbour, had a most enjoyable day. When anchored, a shark kept swimming around the vessel, got back to the hotel about 7.15 in time for dinner. So some great insights there into the tour of uh, uh, Lord Harris's team in 1879, 78-79. Um, just give you a little insight there of what they used to, they got up to. Plenty of tennis played and whatever, so it's a very interesting little book if you can get hold of it. Some on eBay apparently. And uh, anyway, just looking for those bits for James Merchant. Then we've got uh, Don Bradman here on the Orontis, 1938. Four lovely candid photographs here. And there's Chuck. Fleetwood Smith, not sure this fella is here, I think he might be a tennis player this one here, but um, Chuck there enjoying a, a chuckle. Um, Tom playing quits for the passenger, and a lovely one there of Don, not sure he's uh, particularly well there, but <laughs> he's putting a brave smile on it anyway if he isn't. So quite uh, some nice postcards there from the Orontis trip over in 1938. While I was looking for those, got these uh, other postcards in the week, which were from, apart from Roy Kilmer, from 1946, just after the war, obviously, and they were putting names around for players to go to Australia uh, for the tour. Um, these were hopefuls, you've got Peter Cramer there of Warwickshire. A nice photographs of the chap that gave me these i'm sure he said they come out of a serial um promotion so we've got cranmer there and then we got um alec bedser old stalwart of the uh bowling of england in the 40s and 50s jack hiking uh, there's 
so Lynn Hutton there, it wasn't so Lynn then, but that's Lynn Hutton. Nice photograph there of Lynn. Last one in this bit was uh, Peter Smith there, Essex man. Got a nine for against that photograph, or that photograph I showed you last week. This is the photograph of Peter Smith, close up. And then a few more came in. Well, I think he actually put them in these pouches, to be honest, the both given to me, because they're not um, continuous things, but uh, continuous makers. Uh, there's Dennis Compton there. Got a couple of creases in him, but there's a good one there of uh, the Brill Cream Boy. Who else have we got? We have got uh, Godfrey. Great Godfrey Evans there. Again, there's a different, this one's photographed by Star and Rignall. Regent Studio Cambridge, but I don't think that's uh, any relevance to be honest Because this is a different one here look different uh, Folder and this is a uh, called Cyril Washbrook there His England cap And then the last one is Joe Hardstaff Jr. There he's there This one there, Joe Hardstaff, Hardstaff. That's a nice one, but also there were some other nice things I picked out just there. So this one, which I've shown before, which is a little selection of Don Bradman uh, cards. 1930, 34 and 38. And uh, just in a little frame there. Friend gave me these for putting his motorbike in my shed while he was in Australia. Um, it's the Card Framing Company, 8 George Street, The Rocks, Sydney. And that's quite a nice little present there. And also I've got these ones here, for relatively new, which is all the teams there, the NatWest Trophy. Um, each team photograph, this is 2000. And it goes back to um, Gillette, Gillette Cup Final 1980. There, Surrey CCC there. Uh, some recognisable faces there. 1981, got the fir first NatWest Bank Trophy Final. There, you've got some. Um, where have you got there? Northamptonshire. And then, uh, I've got the one on the back there, though. I just noticed that it's just folded that over there for the Gillette Cup final 1980. Surrey and Warwickshire. Uh, Middlesex, beg your pardon. They're quite nice. And we've got, so we've got the 1981 there, back and front. Just noticed that. <laughs> Looking the wrong way to the camera. Oh dear, things you pick up. This is, this is a plain back one here. Second Nat West Trophy Final. Sorry again. There we are, 1982. I just sort of finished the Young Cricketers then. So I knew all these players that were milling around at the Oval. Uh, so then we go up to, they don't, they don't have the names on the postcards, unfortunately, um, until 1985, I think. Yeah, 1985, which is, uh, that West and Essex there. That's the first time they put the names on, which is quite useful if you're not a supporter of their county. And they say they go right up to uh, 2000 there. And they have separate postcards there. That was uh, Gloucestershire and Warwickshire, 2000 final. They're quite nice cards there. And then another nice package I then back to is this lovely, there's loads of Surrey ones here, which is quite an interesting little pile of Surrey ones. So further back is, is your um, new ones and old ones, there's Peter May there. Um, there's some nice old photographs, there's Douglas Jardine there, striking to, uh, uh, was it Square Leg? What's that one? There's a nice one there of the boys celebrating in the 50s, their um, great run of the 50s when they won the Championship quite a few times. It's an old uh, playing partner of mine, Martin Bicknell. What else have we got? Keith Reddicott there, Graham Root. There's some another. There's the boys there. Again, just after there. In their run of 50s trophies. There's some older ones. There's some nice uh, sort of um, Belden pictures there. There's Lees, Walter Lees. What a nice picture. There's that honest Jardine again there, look. Stretching forward. Some cracking postcards, I've got to say. Um, which I did spend some time a few years ago trying to find out who they were. And 
There's Billy Brockwell. There. And a Belden picture. There's a Walter Lees again there. That's a, a, a copy of a famous Walter Lees photograph. And we've got there, we've got um, an old boy in the nets here. A couple of nice ones. Uh, it's like Brockwell again, this one, the looks of it. Brockwell again there. Great photographs, these of uh, George Belden from George Belden, should I say? And a nice one here of uh, Marshall dancing down the pitch. I'll cover drive. There's that uh, one of uh, G Hobbs there, which is uh, spelling wrong. Got that postcard as a, as a legitimate postcard. There's a great Tom Hayward here. There's great Tom Hayward. There's another one here walking off. I think that again is probably Brockwell there as well. There, so quite nice postcards these, lovely sets. There's Billy Brockwell again. And who's this one? Who's that one? Oh, Knox there. So some great postcards I have to say. No one there, sorry, it's about 1905 ish that one. There. Another one here, some great, uh, there's, uh, was that Braun? Braun, rather. Nice one. There he is again. There he is again there, Braun. So these are uh, Belden photographs, so they're quite nice. There's some boys there coming out of the oval, so I'll, uh, I'll finish on that one with the old boys there coming out of the oval. Okay, we've got Tom Richardson at the front there, I can see. Um, Nice photograph that so uh, no reproductions but they're a great set to uh, get a glimpse in the past so anyway that'll be that for this week um say so might not see you next week don't know don't know what i'm doing so um on that note i'll see you next time and i'll uh, hope you enjoyed this one cheers